A Tierra Santa neighborhood swarmed by police after a toddler was found dead inside a hot car. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson and I'm Kimberly Hunt in for Lindsay Pena. Police are now trying to figure out how long that two year old was inside. 10 News reporter Nate Holmes he is joining us now. Nate, any word on possible charges? Nacho, we're still waiting to get an official update from police, but I can tell you I did speak with a neighbor who lives adjacent from the home, and she tells me that before today she has spoken to the family on occasion. She tells me that the husband is in the military and that they are a very nice couple, and she just feels for what they're going through right now. Now, just to give you a little perspective, though, it is very hot outside. When our 10 News van arrived on scene, our car, our thermostat was reading on the car, 91 degrees. That just gives you a little perspective of what's going on out here right now, but you can actually actually see this home is still surrounded with yellow tape out here. Folks have been going in and in and out. Investigators have been coming in and out of the home all afternoon, but we want to give you a look at this video. Here's a look at the scene around one o'clock this afternoon, and you can see family members outside the home visibly distraught paramedics trying to console them. Now, police got a call saying that a child was found dead inside of a car. Now, the home is located at the corner of Orlack and Leary streets, and this is a military housing community. Now, neighbors in the area say there are multiple families that live in this area. I I spoke with one mother of two of a two year old who lives not far from the home and she says she can't imagine what this family is going through. I just can't I just can't imagine something like that happening to my son. So not knowing even I don't even know the family or what happened or anything, but just as a mom, you put yourself in that mother's shoes. So it's hard. Now, according to kidsandcars.org, there have been 26 ch child hot car deaths in the U.S. so far this year. Now, according to the National Safety Council in 2018, there were 52 deaths overall. Now, again, we're still waiting to get more details from police. And as soon as we get those details, we will bring those to you. Live in Terrasana, Nate Holmes, 10 News. Thank you, Nate.